Now, New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. You wake up and you, what you see is just water, you know, and, and it's hard. Flooding frustrations in New Jersey, areas like Patterson still dealing with waterlogged streets and homes, and the Passaic River is still in a major flood stage. It's quiet right now, but snow is on the way this afternoon. Much colder temperatures coming right behind it. Good morning, everyone, on this Sunday morning. I'm Michelle Charlesworth. And I'm Tony Yates, meteorologist Danny Beckstrom here now with our first look at the AccuWeather forecast. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Michelle and Tony. It seems like once we get through one thing, the next one's already coming. Mm -hmm. That's the case today. We're starting out quiet, clear, and quite cold. We are running 15 to 20 degrees colder than the yesterday. But by lunchtime, some snow on radar. We expect a cold front to move through today. Now, going to bring with it a line of snow with gusty wind, which means snow squall possible later this afternoon. It's in and out quick enough. It doesn't really accumulate on the grounds, but you'll notice it if you're out and about as that line pushes through. Right now, 33 degrees, a light breeze at 7 miles per hour. Temperatures running, as I mentioned, quite a bit colder than this time yesterday. Most of the tri-state still in the 30s, so not too bad, but then you factor in the wind and we feel like 20s pretty much across the board. Feels like 27 in Central Park, 24 for Morristown, feeling like 22 this morning in Islip. So it is cold. We're starting with a clear sky. As we zoom out on radar, off to our west, you can kind of see where the front is that's going to push through today and bring this thin line of snow. It does look to be snow for most, maybe a few raindrops in the mix ahead of this line. Again, it's in and out so quickly it doesn't necessarily accumulate on the roadways, but this line, it could produce heavy enough showers with the gusty enough wind to limit visibility for a short time. So keep that in mind. If you're out and about running errands for your Sunday afternoon, you might get caught in that and it'll ma make conditions pretty tough to drive in just given the drop in visibility in and out very quickly. So that's what we're watching through about lunchtime. It shows up to our westernmost points around uh, midday, around noon, and then it exits east after about 3 o'clock. But the blustery wind will stick around for most of the day, and you see our temperatures, they remain cold. We're looking at highs close to 40 degrees today. So it is noticeably colder. It is a bit on the uh, blustery side with that quick snow squall expected this afternoon. Tomorrow is calmer, but even colder as the breezy wind sticks around. It's tomorrow night into Tuesday that brings our next chance for snow. That means it looks like a slick start to the morning commute on Tuesday. Accumulating snowfall, maybe an inch up to two or three across the tri-state area. So I'll have the numbers on that coming up in just a bit. Michelle? I know you'll be watching it. All right. Thank you so much. On this Sunday morning, yet another day of flood-filled streets in parts of New Jersey and places like Patterson. Nearly two dozen roads remain closed as the governor promises to exhaust every resource to fix this crisis for folks who live there. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Meji live in Patterson right now with the very latest. How does it look, Reagan? I mean, it's like Groundhog Day at this point. You know, the communities are drying out as we've been here. The roads... We're closing in on 7 o'clock. Levels of the Passaic River are slowly, slowly trickling down this morning as the governor of New Jersey promises relief is on the way for the people all over his state who are dealing with flooding. And good news if you take Amtrak after a disruption in service... Boy, was that a disruption that has been restored. Okay, more weather on the way. Snow squall headed towards the tri-state. Meteorologist Danny Beckstrom has more on which areas will be affected. Good morning. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. People living in New Jersey feeling just helpless after the... Uh, unrelenting flooding in their area, bracing for what's next as a burst of severe weather gears up again to move through our area. Also, a family's grieving uh, the loss of their mother this morning after she was hit twice by two cars while she was crossing the street. Police are searching for one of the drivers who hit her and just kept going. Taking a live look at the city, uh, just looking platinum and 24 karat gold on this Sunday, <laughs> January 14th. Bringing it to you. Live. We have a new look this morning. Look at this, all fancy. I know, got all this right? fancy stuff. Good morning. I'm Michelle Charles. And I'm Tony Yates, meteorologist Danny Beckstrom here now with our look at the Accurate Forecast. Danny. You look expensive. Uh, 24 karat gold and platinum. Right. We'll get a nice dusting uh, over this platinum as we head into this afternoon. We got a snow squall on the way. Uh, is it enough to accumulate? No, it's in and out very quickly, but could reduce visibility. And it's definitely something you'll notice if you're out and about. This morning, clear and cold.
33 degrees. We're seeing sunshine as the sun comes up. The wind, not all that noticeable right now, but still making a difference in terms of wind chill. Temperatures across the tri-state, 20s and 30s. We're running about 20 degrees colder than this time yesterday, and you can feel the difference. 28 in Newburgh and Morristown, 33 in Central Park, but we're sub-freezing in Sussex, sub-freezing in Belmar at the 32 degree mark in Islip. This is what it feels like. Much colder than that. Feeling like 20s for most of the area with that light breeze. The satellite and radar is clear and quiet for now, but off to our west, you can see some snow on the radar, right? That going to organize along a front and bring us a quick snow squall as we move into lunchtime from west to east between about noon and 3, 4 p.m. This is a very thin line of snow, so it only, only impacts you for about 15, 20, 30 minutes in and out very quickly, but with the line of heavier snow and the gusty wind that associates that, uh, uh, accompanies that front, it could limit visibility and cause a few issues as it moves through. Behind that front, colder air moves in, even colder than what we're feeling already, and our highs fall an additional 5 to 10 degrees into tomorrow. So we settle into a stretch of very chilly days ahead for the work week. Here's a look at today. We stay in the upper 30s, highs cap close to 40. You see that quick line of snow moving through with the gusty wind, and then the colder air filters in behind it. It's not our only chance for snow. That snow squall will reduce visibility, but not necessarily accumulate today. Then we're quiet and colder for your Monday. It's Monday night into Tuesday. Our next chance for snow moves through. This one is expected to accumulate overnight to Tuesday morning, which means a slick start to the commute on Tuesday, a couple inches up to maybe three in parts of the area as we start our Tuesday morning. A lot to talk about in the full forecast. I'll have the timing and details on the snow squall today in just a few minutes. Michelle? All right, good. We need you, Danny. Thank you so much. As we've reported all week, Patterson has been battered by flooding. The people who live there are exhausted and furious. Many want the local government to step in to do more to help them in their flooded properties. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Meggie live in Patterson. Reagan, a lot of people just feeling absolutely helpless this morning. They do. And, you know, when I was talking to many people We're live here in Patterson, New Jersey, Reagan Meggie, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Reagan. In other words, be careful. Yes. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's starting to freeze. Uh, little exactly. bits and pieces at the edges. We're at 33 degrees right now. Right. And as the water continues to recede, it's still going to leave uh, wet conditions. Yeah. Then we get the colder air moving in mm -hmm. behind the front. Today, everything freezes over and it'll be a glaze of ice. So really slick out there. I want to give you a, a live look outside right now because we're seeing sunshine, but temperatures are very cold across the tri-state in the 20s and 30s for most. And we're watching this front moving through this afternoon, bringing with it a snow squall. So what that means is a thin line of moderate to heavy rain that's in and out, excuse me, moderate to heavy snow that's in and out very quickly with some blustery wind that can limit visibility. So it's to our westernmost spots by about noon. It's to New York City by 1.30 to 2.15ish. And then it's out east by about 3 o'clock. It's in and out fast while it's overhead while it's in your neighborhood it only lasts 20 or 30 minutes so not necessarily accumulating but still enough to limit that visibility our next snow chance is monday night into tuesday that one accumulating a few inches for a lot of the tri-state area and just check check out these numbers today we're already running 20 degrees colder than yesterday and tomorrow we drop another 5 to 10 degrees yeah. we'll be lucky to make it out of freezing tomorrow afternoon look at all the different graphics of Watch for schools, Tuesday. Academic excellence for Latino and black students in New Jersey. Tiempo this morning at 1130.